Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Miss Bossy and today I want to try some things on my hair and show you guys what I come up with, what it looks like. Um, I actually have to get ready for uh, my best friend's birthday party tomorrow. Hey Carol, what's up? Um, so I have to do my hair because I, you know, I have to look nice, of course. So I'm going to try a roller set, but... First, I want to see how the roller set's going to come out. So, um, what I came up with was I'm going to try wet roller set on this side and then I'm going to flat iron this side and do a dry roller set on straight hair and see which one comes out better and that's how I wear my hair. Uh, excuse my hair, it's looking kind of rough right now. I just had a really long week so it's a little frizzy. But uh, for the hair, this is my Arjuni 2B wig. Show you the hair up close. It's wavy. I'm sorry, I think they call it wavy B now, but this is the hair. You can see the texture of it. It's a combination of medium and low lusters. I'm also wearing a closure. And this is a wig. The closure is not glued down. This is just actually put on my head. I sewed the wig down, but I only sewed it from here around the back and I sewed it like back here, like right here and then a couple of places back here just to hold it on. But you can see it's not glued down whatsoever. The wig actually isn't even sewn on up here, it just lays flat like that. So that's what I'm going to do, I just wanted to give you guys a quick brief explanation of what I'm going to do so when I pop out here with one side of my hair straight and the other side wavy, you aren't looking at me like I'm crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I'm going to wash this out, blow dry, and flat iron one side. Okay, I'm back and I went ahead and wet this side and I blow dry. I actually wet this side a little bit. I didn't wash it lazy. I washed it this morning. Um, I just wet this side and then I blow dried it, took about three minutes and then I flat ironed it which took about five minutes. Um, when I flat iron it, I use my H2 Pro, uh, it's a ceramic flat iron uh, with my magic tape on it. That's what I use for my BKTs and then I also use this and I flat iron just one pass on each section. So you can see what it looks like straightened. I'm going to try to curl it up with some flexi rods on the straight hair. It straightens really, really well. I haven't straightened my 2B in like almost a year. And this is the wet side. This is just water on it. There's nothing on it. It's just wet. So, there we go. I'm going to do the dry side first. No, wait. I should do the wet side first, right? Yeah, I'll do the wet side first. So, I'm just going to put this in a ponytail. Oh my god, I love closures because I would never blend with this. And that's like the closures, low luster, still wouldn't be blending with it, the 2B. So, my hair is just a little damp. I'm going to take fairly large sections because I don't want tight curls. So, maybe this size. And I'll just clip up the rest. So, I just want to show you the section. Oops. That size is not very big. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm actually just going to use a little bit of my serum just a little bit to keep the frizz down and I'm going to wet it a little bit more before I roll it. My water. Wet it. I'm putting like a half a pump of this serum on here on each section because I do not want greasy hair. I just want to knock the frizz down and this stuff works marvelous. That's what I put on this side to straighten it. And as you can see, it does a magnificent job, but it's not as heavy as other uh, serums like Sabino. 
that one's actually pretty heavy it has a lot of cones in it this one's actually really 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 light you only need a tiny bit so I'm just gonna smooth this out the rollers I'm using are the purple flexi rods normally I would twist my hair before I put it on but I'm not gonna do that this time I'm gonna just try to smooth it out and this side is I can guarantee you it's going to be a lot fuller than the other side and it's going to have a lot more texture so I'm just wrapping around and I'm pulling really really tightly as I wrap it and I'm probably going to have a lot more texture especially at the roots because of that part I'm not going to get pulled tight enough because the rollers aren't big enough for this length. So there's one. I'm going to try to do this quickly. All right, all done with the wet side. You can see I rolled it up nice and tight to smooth out the hair, to straighten it. Now time to do the dry side. This side, I'm not going to put anything on the hair. I'm just going to do it just like this. I like this hair straightened. Let's see how much, I want to show you guys really quick because this is awesome how much body this hair has being straightened. Okay, enough of that. So I'm going to take pretty much the same size sections brush it smooth I love this brush not on my natural hair never on my natural hair but on my extensions it's amazing absolutely amazing. The reason being I won't use it on my natural hair. My natural hair is very um, fragile and that brush is very rough. Extensions tend to be able to take a lot more than my natural hair. Um, especially these extensions. They're, I mean, made out of steel or something. I mean, I still have to be careful with the hair because it is, in a sense, fragile, but I don't have to treat it as uh, with as much care and caution as I do my natural hair. So I'm done with both sides. Here's the straight side. I see the straight side does have a lot more little strands sticking out. I don't know, wait. I think it's just more noticeable because the hair is straightened. Does that look, look okay? I'm not doing the middle part, sorry. Here it is from the back. Now when I do my whole head, I'm not going to have a split down the middle. I'm going to make sure I have curlers going down the middle so that my hair doesn't kind of fall with a split down the middle because it will and I'll keep having to try to shift it. I'm going to make sure I have some going down the middle, but this is it. I'm going to sleep on it. with my uh, Pretty Wrap from prettywrap.com. Fabulous. I love it. This is silk. It's a bonnet and a scarf. Okay, I'm back after a nice long good night's rest and I'm gonna go ahead and take down the curlers the flexi rods to see what it looks like which side I like better and if you remember this side it was the side I did wet this side is the side that I did dry and straightened I'm going to take down the straight side first Tight curl. Okay. Just gonna comb 
through a little bit. Take down the wet side now. Much tighter here, both. Wow, <laughs> this is a huge difference. <laughs> I'll just show you guys. This is the side that I curled um, with water. I mean, it's nice and bouncy. It has a lot of body. The curls are a lot tighter, and uh, it does have more texture. Now, I'm sure if I were to do this like a full head, I wouldn't pick it out to this point where it's all fluffy, but this side, actually on the straightened side, I used smaller sections and I used one more flexi rod than I did on this side. The curls came out looser. They are a lot sleeker. On the other side, less texture. I mean, this side looks like it has the potential to get pretty big, though. I'm just gonna keep finger combing in, see what I get out of it. Wow. <laughs> you really big giant curls. That's crazy. On this side. I don't know which side. <laughs> I like this side better. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wash it again, straighten all of it, and rot it dry because I really like this side. The way that the curls kind of fell into big, giant, loose, like wavy curls. So I'll be back to show you guys the finished look after I do my whole head, straighten it, and curl it, let it set. Uh, so you can see the finished product. Thanks for watching.